Greetings, greetings, brothers and sisters, greetings. Um, first and foremost, um, before we get into this word, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, for allowing this word to come out, man, and I hope you sincere. Uh, brothers and sisters, man, are truly, truly uh, edified uh, by tonight's word. Um, <clears throat> for those who are joining us, uh, if you have um, been following us long enough, uh, I know you have noticed that um, we hadn't loaded up the word and, uh, until yesterday, which was Sabbath day, so-called Saturday. And um, we ran into a problem with YouTube. Uh, they uh, suspended the channel, uh, which is what they typically do every three, three to six months. They find the smallest thing biblically that we talk about and try to somewhat silence us um you know but that's the spirit because when you're doing something right you can expect you know turmoil you can expect controversy you can expect all type of roadblocks and debacles to get in your way but all praises to your howard through his only begotten son yahweh shy um, we're able to uh, resume, bring you to, bring you this food. Um, I hope this food nourish your spiritual souls, and I hope uh, you sincere uh, brothers and sisters are truly, truly edified uh, by tonight's word. And we're going to name tonight's word: the righteous person face many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. That's right. Let me say it again. The name of tonight's word is called the righteous person face many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. That's such a comforting thing to know when you are operating in the spirit of a righteous individual. OK, when you are a righteous individual, it's such a comfort to know that even though you may face many troubles hang on persevere and endure why because the lord will rescue you each and every time what you see on the screen is an example of what it looks like when you deal with affliction okay when you deal with trouble all right and we're going to come to you in psalms chapter 34 verse 19 and it reads many are the affliction of the righteous but the lord deliver him out of them all you see that again in psalms 34 19 and it reads many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord deliver him out of all of them out of, out of them all salakia you see that so the premise of tonight's word, brothers and sisters, is understanding and knowing the Lord cares for his righteous ones. OK. And in Psalms 34 and 19, the first thing I want to focus on, it says many are the afflictions. Many are the calamities, the diseases, the distress, the troubles the mischief, the displeasures, the dangers, okay, of who? The righteous. The righteous would be those that demonstrate a spiritual character and conduct that lines up with God's, with, with the Lord, who we know as Yahweh, acceptance, okay, which means that a righteous one would be someone not only that fears the Lord, but also is obedient to his laws, statutes, and commandments. That will constitute someone being righteous. And when you're operating under those principles, under that conduct, under that integrity, regardless of many of the, the, the uh, afflictions, troubles that may come your way, according to Psalms 34 and 19, they tell you, the Lord deliver it. The Lord rescues. The Lord saves him, which is the righteous one or righteous sister, 
out of them all. So no matter how many afflictions, no matter how many, the Lord will rescue, rescue you and save you out of that. King David was a beautiful example of this, especially um, when King David was at Cave of Adullam, Adullam, okay? The Lord was able to rescue him. That's why I love in Psalms 34, you go, go up to two verses to verse 17. What do it say? The righteous cry and the Lord hear it and deliver them out of all their troubles. You see that? So when the righteous man or woman cries, the Lord is going to extend his ear so he can hear that. And then once he hears, because of his love and, and, and compassion for us, there's a corresponding action. And what's that corresponding action? He's going to save you, rescue you of all those troubles, man. What's the name of the word, y'all? The righteous person faced many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time, man. That's cold-blooded, man. And when you go, we're going to stay in Psalms. We're going to go to uh, Psalms 34 and 4 and what it reads. It says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. You see that? So when you're dealing with afflictions, whether you're dealing with certain fears, rest assured the Lord is going to save and rescue you. Why? Because you are one of his righteous ones. So everybody is not going to get the luxury of the Lord coming to rescue you. You see? But you have to uh, be someone that's considered righteous. Because what are we dealing with in this word tonight? The Lord caring for his righteous ones. Yeah. Yeah. That's why in um, Psalms 9 verse, I want to say Psalms verse, uh, Psalms chapter 9 verse 10, and it reads, and they, know, and they that know thy name, which is the Lord name, who we know as Yahweh, will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, who we know as Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. See that? Cold-blooded, man. So uh, I want to say this, you know, to you sincere brothers and sisters, man. In this life that we live, you know, when you come from the world and then you start trying to live your life based off the Bible principles and the Lord's statutes, commandments. OK. And, and, and what happens is. You know, you're going to go through calamities, you're going to go through. You're going to be subject to the spiritual distress, spiritual trouble. You're going to be dealing with spiritual dangers. That's where Satan, the spirit of Satan and Satan helpers will come in and try to create all type of dangers for you to try to take you off your walk with the Lord. And sometimes it can be overwhelming. You get tested all the time by the enemy. Okay. But please understand and know when you're being tested and when they're trying to take you off your spiritual stoop, when they're trying to take you off your spiritual grind, when they're trying to distract you, when they're trying to discourage you, okay, by way of presenting calamities, by way of presenting diseases, okay, by way of presenting distress, troubles, mischief, displeasures, dangers, please understand when you believe in the power of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you will know and must know that the Lord will deliver you out of those issues. The Lord will rescue you out of those issues. The Lord will save you out of those issues. Why? Because the Lord cares for his righteous ones. That's why the title of this word is called the righteous person face many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Or I like to say er time, like my wife would say er time. That's my wife word, not each time, but er time. 
So the Lord will rescue you every time, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. Hey, hang in there, man. Um, it's 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 a dangerous time in this world. It's a lot going on, and trust me, man. When you're trying to live by this Bible and, and live on the righteous side of things, understand trouble will try to come your way. The enemy is going to try to come your way and distract you, man, because the enemy don't like when you're on team Yahweh. He wants you to be on team Satan, man, and we all know that ain't what it is, man. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were truly, truly, truly edified by tonight's word, and we give all praises. Glory and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh for allowing His word to come out. And hey, man, stay prayered up and keep Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh first in everything that you do. Word.